there it's Ruth at Artful Stamping and I'm really pleased to be able to show you this wreath that I've made for the On Stage Live, to, sorry On Stage 2016 using the five new in colours. On well, this wreath is four of them and I'm going to be showing you the other thing that I made using the other colour. So here we have the leaves were cut from Emerald Envy cardstock and some of the, the new DSP stack. The flower, the big flower here was made using the two inch and one, three, one and three quarter inch punch and then the spiral rose at the, in the centre was made using the two inch punch but I cut a spiral in and then used tweezers to uh, twirl it round and stick with some hot glue. They've also been stamped using the tree from Sheltering Tree to give that kind of vein effect that you get on petals. The leaves are from the botanical framelits uh, botanical framelits builded oh I always get that muddled up but you know what I mean and um, also sponged with a little bit of the emerald envy on the edges and the leaves here were made using the festive builder punch <clears throat> these flowers off to the side were just from the, the pansy punch there's three layers there oh no four layers for that one and this one was using the uh, medallion flower punch and then the pansy in the in the centre um, I used the tweezers again to create that little bit of texture before stapling them with the um, mini stapler. The wreath itself, if I turn it over you can get a better look, I cut strips of uh, the DSP paper stack, one inch strips, and then individually wrap that around the, but there's a polystyrene wreath underneath, and I wrap those rounds and then curl the edges so that Rather than wasting the paper, I've just created a little bit of a feature with the curled edges there. What more can I tell you? Oh, the ribbons here. These are some gorgeous new ribbons that are going to be available. And uh, Stampin' Up! very kindly sent me them in the two colours here. So I've attached that to the bottom flower, which is the, uh, the pink one here, the uh, Flirty Flamingo. So if you want to see close-up pictures and pictures of it in its entirety, then please head to my blog, artfulstamping.co.uk, where there will be um, better photos for you to have a look at. Right, the other item that I made using the Dapper Denim colour was a decorated frame. And I used the same flowers that I made for the wreath. I just stuck those onto... The side of a frame and then use the leaves from the botanical framelits for that and then inside here is a picture that I, I sponged with the uh, flirty flamingo and the peekaboo peach there and then stamped with the sheltering tree and then a little the little speckle stamp from timeless textures I dotted that around to be sort of leaves and then the little white kind of blobs that you can see are the um it's the fine tip glue pen that i use to just create a little bit of added texture well thank you very much for joining me today and uh, allowing me to show you how i made all the different samples and um hopefully um, i'm going to be able to inspire you to use some of these gorgeous new colors they really really are beautiful take care for now bye